with Hurricane Maria bearing down, residents in Puerto Rico are hunkering down, preparing for 175 miles per hour winds, 6 to 9 foot storm surge and up to 25 inches of rain. Unfortunately, most of the homes in Puerto Rico are built to withstand just 125 miles per hour winds, characteristic of a Category 2 hurricane, according to one expert on building codes on the island. With current gusts reaching 175 miles per hour or more, the Category 5 storm, which slammed into the eastern Caribbean islands of Dominica and Guadeloupe Monday night, is expected to wreak havoc on the island with a governor calling it the potentially most catastrophic hurricane to hit Puerto Rico in a century. According to University of Puerto Rico at Mayaguez engineering professor Dr. Luis Aponte Bermudez, Puerto Rico adopted the International Building Code in 2011, which requires residences withstand 140 miles per hour winds, characteristic of a Category 3 storm. When it comes to wind worthiness, these building codes are similar to the ones that govern mainland U.S. Cities like Miami, an engineer at the Insurance Institute of Business and Home Safety tells ABC News. However, the majority of the homes on the island were built prior to 2011, to a weaker code, and were grandfathered in. Before 2011, Puerto Rico was using the Uniform Building Code which only required residences to withstand 125 miles per hour winds, adopted after Hurricane George's pummeled Puerto Rico in 1998. Most legally built homes on the islands use that UBC 125 mile per hour standard. Worse still, many homes dotting the island fall into what's called informal construction, built to no standard whatsoever. These are homes built illegally, without proper regulation by people who lack the economic resources to hire a constructor and instead just buy wood and other materials from the local hardware store. These structures are extremely vulnerable. Most of these homes are going to get destroyed, Aponte Baramudas says, noting that many similar homes on the nearby island of Culebra were recently wiped out by Hurricane Irma. With the passage of Hurricane Irma, the people of Puerto Rico not only demonstrated our resilience, but we banded together to show our kindness and hospitality to thousands of our fellow Americans in the U.S. Virgin Islands, BVI, British Virgin Islands, St. Martin and beyond, Puerto Rico Governor Ricardo Rosello said Tuesday afternoon. Now we're looking down the barrel of Maria, a historic Category 5 hurricane. Although it looks like a direct hit with major damage to Puerto Rico is inevitable, I ask for America's prayers, he continued. No matter what happens here in the next 36 hours, Puerto Rico will survive, we will rebuild, we will recover and with your support, we will come out stronger than ever. ABC News' Melissa Griffin and Josh Hoyos contributed to this report.